compared to 41% who said they were pleased. Obviously, liberals, younger voters, Democrats, and Jewish voters were the most disappointed among those polled. 40% of voters, of um, voting New Yorkers, said that their senator's decision on the failed same-sex marriage bill will be a deciding factor in whether or not they choose to reelect them. Wow. That's, that's interesting, isn't that's it? Doesn't say, that doesn't say which side they fall on. Well, right. okay. Nonetheless. But 47 to 41% in favor, and it's a big issue, again. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> anyway, we will have to, um, certainly um, with, with our legislation c coming up, we will have to get uh, Diana, Diana Lombardi to come on the show yeah. um, sometime in the near future and talk about that a bit and where we are with that and where we're going. Um, we haven't had her on in a while. And, uh, she's always I a great guest. Yeah, I'm no, I don't know if she's able to be watching tonight, but if she yeah. is, hey, Diana, <laughs> come on the show. We need you. But um, well, When... The, when um, Congress gets back in session and they start raising bills, it'll become critical yeah. that uh, everybody out there who wants to see the end of discrimination in this state uh, contact your legislatures in support of adding gender identity and expression to the state anti-discrimination laws. Yeah. And I will, this year I will testify. So where do we stand on ENDA? I don't know. Mm. <laughs> Unfortunately. Okay. I, I wasn't able to look into that. Of course, your computer's down, so you can't look it up. But um, <clears throat> I was just wondering how that, that fight is going. The Federal uh, Employment Non-Discrimination Act that this year is supposed to be put forward to include uh, sexual orientation and uh, gender identity and expression so that at the federal level we have uh, some kind of protections to, against being fired because somebody doesn't like the way we look or act. Yeah. Huh, yeah. Um. Yeah, I had some other um, stuff here. I think on uh, sort of on the clergy's reaction to DC, which oh, was yeah? um, not very favorable. Obviously, the clergy was not happy about it. But yeah. um, well, that's kind of funny. I, it's it's a little bit old news now. Um, this was from last month, actually. Um, a study commissioned by the U.S. Roman Catholic Church has found no evidence that gay priests are more likely to sexually abuse children than heterosexual clergy. Researchers at the John Jay College of Criminal Justice said their full report won't be available until next year, but added so far, nothing has suggested that homosexuality was likely to, be the, uh, was likely to lead to abuse. Uh, addressing the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops yesterday, John Jay College researcher Margaret Smith said, we are suggesting it is the idea of sexual identity, I'm sorry, we are suggesting, what we are suggesting is that the idea of sexual identity be separated from the problem of sexual abuse. At this point, we do not find a connection between homosexual identity and the increased likelihood of subsequent abuse from the data that we have right now. Yeah, well that doesn't surprise me. No, doesn't surprise me in the least. Um, you're talking about people who are, um, committing crimes of power and manipulating their relationships with kids. Um, they, they do add here, oddly enough, it you know, has nothing to do with your sexual right. orientation. This isn't sexual gratification that pedophiles get. Right, those behaviors are not linked in some way. It's, it's coincidental and the same, I'm imagining that the same percentage of the population of... Uh, heterosexual of and heterosexual, yeah. 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 Um, another researcher, Karen, um, oh, um, it's estimated that 80% of child abuse is suffered by boys. Mm -hmm. um, she added that one reason for the skewed ratio is that pedophiles have much easier access to boys rather than girls. Sort of implying that our society, our parents, protect their girls more the better than they protect their boys from yeah. sexual mm -hmm. predators. Yeah. Um, I buy that. She says, uh, it's important to separate the sexual identity and the behavior. Someone can commit sexual acts that might be of a homosexual nature and not have a homosexual identity. Hmm. Referring to the pedophile clergy that are abusing boys. Yeah. Yeah. Horrible, horrible things. Huh. What, shocked, what kind of surprised me the most is that the study was actually commissioned by the U.S. Roman Catholic Church. Yeah. 
Well, I'm glad they did. Yeah. Um, I, I hope they take it to heart. Yeah. <laughs> but. They're not beyond doing good things. <laughs> Even if I cynically consider it a PR move. Yeah. Yeah. But. Even if it's by accident. <laughs> Even if it's by accident. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but you know, we should give them credit where credit is due. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And um, while, as they said, while the full study won't be available until next year, the, the findings that they have from the evidence, uh, hopefully the, the church will take it to heart, and, and more so to the public. Mm. You know, there's, there, there is a, um, a sort of subliminal effort to, to link pedophiles with homosexuality. Yeah. Which yeah, which makes absolutely no Hopefully sense. Hopefully, they'll hear the message that that homosexuality isn't a breeding ground, isn't directly linked to this to, to bad behavior. It has nothing to do with that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The problem is that they're pedophiles, not that they might be gay. That's right. right. Yeah, that's right. Um, Sexual misconduct and knows no uh, no sexual orientation. Um, anyway. Anyway. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so Christmas is coming. God. It's yes. Like a ten week, days away. Week and a half Nine away. Nine days yeah. away. <coughs> not even a week and a half. So we'll do a Christmas show next week. I'm not sure. Um, I think we'll be able to do a regular regular live show next okay. week. I believe. Twenty third. I believe that, uh, that that's correct. Um, and we have, um, we have some interesting guests coming soon. January. Um, musical guests. And oh, so yeah. we, we have to talk to the boys about, uh, about getting some studio time so we can make all of that work. Right. Um, but, uh, but that will be probably sometime in January. You, Extra special um, musical guests. Yeah. They, um, Tell us about it. Um, a, a friend of mine. I, I, uh, Met once or twice, and um, is a male to, ma male to female transsexual and a, a professional musician, and is going to come on and talk to us about her experiences on the in the field, and um, is planning to bring a special friend, which is very cool, um, which is which is awesome, and um, and they're hopefully going to play for us. Um, hopefully, well, or bring a mu music video. That too. We and, could probably uh, do that. It'll yeah. be great. And uh, well, I'll, I'll tease out more information as, yeah. we, <laughs> as we get closer to, um, to taking the interview. It, yeah. it will be awesome. Yeah, that's probably great. Probably only looking at three shows away. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so that's, that's going to be really cool. It's, uh, yeah. it, it, it's great. She's, she's on tour, you know, she's traveling. And we have a call. Wow. Look at that. Good evening, NLC Trans. You're on the air. That's a tough subject you're talking about. I, I'm Hi, sorry. Jocelyn. Hey. How hey. are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. I was just tuning in. I guess that, that's really um, rising high, those numbers, huh? To, um, Which, what, what numbers are you referring to? The unemployment? Between unemployment and the... Um, Child predators. I, oh, yeah. 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 It's horrible. I don't know which one's worse right now. I mean, I've seen it in broad daylight. Yeah. You know, guys cruising kids. That, you know, kids walking, a boy, young boy walking alone or walking in a group. And I just stop and I tell, I tell the boy, you know, he's got somebody following him. He needs to hurry up and go home. Mm, for, uh, you know, for, it's pretty for scary thing. Who are uh, abusing children. Yeah. yeah. I just wanted to let you know I was, I was tuning in and. Oh, I just want to say that about that and call me. Okay, okay so are, are we going to see you Friday? Is there a meeting Friday? There night? is a meeting yes. Friday, yes. At your house? At my house. I right, just give me a call because I misplaced your number. Okay. Because I'll have to, you know, to do what I did the last time. Okay. Okay. All well, right. We'll, we'll see you soon. Okay. Bye-bye. Right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye. Uh, that's Jocelyn, one of our members. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, anyway. <coughs> so... Um, what else we got? Anything good? Um, um, well, there's a couple things coming up early next year. Um, a couple of big things. Um, the True Colors Conference is March 12th.